been doing art my entire life. Growing up in Connecticut, I was deep in the graffiti scene, and after I got out of college, it's when I went professional and, and focused full time on it. I'm inspired by a lot of the old greats, everybody from Walt Disney. Obviously, Andy Warhol was a big influence with his pop colors and bold line work. People that have been doing it on the streets for years up in New York, you know, the Keith Herrings and those type of folks. The installation I'm working on for the G-Shock store is inspired by a new body of work called Heavy Mental, which is kind of a chaotic mashup of a lot of my characters, utilizing the camo as the abstract background. In this case, I'm gonna paint some of my more solid colors and characters on top of it to make it pop. It's fun for me taking something that people can connect to or have a relationship with and twisting it into something new and unique and abstract. As an artist, I think G-Shock's a great brand just because it's durable, you know, you can beat it up, you can uh, go out and paint in it and it's not gonna get ruined. I know when I'm painting and I'm traveling, time is of the essence and you gotta make sure you stay on track with everything. It's important to have a timepiece like this that you can depend on. That's why I rock G-Shock. Obviously, the new camo piece is pretty ill. You know, you could wear it with pretty much anything. Yeah, I'm excited to have my work showcased at the Soho G-Shock store. New York is where it all happens. It's the center of the universe, so it's good to be displaying some work up there and be part of a movement.